do today's three, two, one in the car because I didn't get a chance to get a film last night. Let's just dive right in. So Jonathan asked me, okay, it's really long, but basically his question is, what do I recommend as far as uh, do I drive while wearing my jackets or uh, do I hang it up by the hanger loop or uh, what do I do? And uh, normally today is a little bit of an exception because I forgot my coat and it's cold. So I am wearing my jacket, but normally I have it hung up. I don't like to use the, the hanger loop on the back of the neck. I mean, that's what it's there for, but eventually that thing can get broken out. And so I use a hanger that I just keep in my car and then hang up from one of the hooks in the back. And uh, the benefit of it is it makes it easier to drive and more comfortable, um, but then it also uh, increases the longevity and decreases the amount of stretch and stress that is put on your jacket. So good question, Jonathan. Okay, LA Playboy on Twitter asked, um, when shoes are described as stacked heel, is that inferior to a pure leather sole? Uh, no, and in fact, a stacked leather heel is uh, basically, it's, it's more of an aesthetic and a posture difference than a quality of construction difference. Uh, a lot of times with men's dress shoes, uh, boots, things that are a little bit, yeah, more dressy, um, there will be a stacked heel. And that originally uh, came about, I think it was like Louis the 14th, who was the first person to actually wear high heels. Ironically enough, high heels were designed for men, not for women. But it's designed to have your foot sit in a different way that is better for your posture and then it also ends up making your posture a little bit more dominant, so kind of a win-win there. But no, it is not an inferior way of doing things in comparison to a leather sole because you can do a stacked heel with a leather sole. And then Chris asked, how does a young guy, he's 23, break into the refined archetype without coming off as uppity? Uh, this is kind of tough because the refined archetype really is a little bit more difficult to pull off for young kids. My recommendation is to play off of the a little bit of the rakish element with it and especially go for the kind of waspy ivy league balance between rakish and refined because that has such a history within that refined archetype especially within the united states that doing so wearing things like uh, uh yeah trad stuff prep stuff anything that kind of falls into that route um check out guys like uh, keel james patrick um, Effie Castleberry, those kind of guys where they definitely go one step above as far as uh, getting a little bit too strongly into the rakish, but you can take cues from them and just tone it down so it stays refined without it making you look uppity or like you're uh, wearing a costume or like it's a cosplay thing because a lot of young guys run into that problem. Jason asked, how many kids I want to have? All of them. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> We have two right now, um, we're trying for number three, and we both come from big families. I'm the oldest of five, my wife is the second youngest of seven, and so for us, the idea of having five or six kids is appealing. So we will have a lot, not like nine or 10 a lot, but by modern standards, uh, five or six, that's a lot, but we love the idea of a big family, so we are just getting started. Uh, Christian asked if uh, I play any musical instruments. Kind of. I can bang out a few chords on the guitar, and I'm sure that if I had, I don't know, half an hour, no, that's not true. If I had a few hours to kind of get caught up on uh, some dexterity with the piano, then I could clank out a few songs that way. But for the most part, not really. That's something that I want to, uh, to make up for and do better with. And then Vince asked, <laughs> What was the first Disney movie to have CGI, uh, Disney animated film that have CGI in it? Let me look that up, hold on. Uh, turns out it was The Black Cauldron. I never saw that, did you ever see that? I heard that it was weird and it was good um, and kind of dark compared to most Disney films, but according to the internet, uh, it was the first one that used it for things like the cauldron and the bubbles and all those other variations, and then it has slowly taken over since. There you go, Vince. Send me your questions to contact at masculine-style.com, or you can even uh, shoot them over to me at Twitter, uh, which is at masculine-style. Bye.